Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Information You Can Use. This week I thought I would talk to you about appraisals and specifically what happens if an appraisal comes in short. So as a buyer, if you are getting um, a mortgage from a financial institution, the institution is normally going to do an appraisal on the property. And if the appraisal comes in lower than what you purchased, uh, there could be some ramifications for it. One of the biggest ramifications that ends up happening is if, if as the buyer, you are putting 20% down and the mortgage comes in short, what it means is that the the deposit may need to make up the difference of the shortfall and if you were giving 20 percent down and we need to take some money from that deposit it may mean you're no longer giving 20 percent down and now you enter into cmhc financing which can impact the financing decisions that you've made so definitely something to keep in mind when you are making a purchase and the deposit. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is if you are dealing with a B lender, uh, that they normally will lend you 80%. So I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I get this information right. They normally will lend only 80% on the lower of either the appraisal or the purchase price. So you need to keep that into, into consideration as well. Um, couple of just information, couple of tidbits about appraisals is normally when they are done, normally in quotation marks, they are good for 180 days. Um, and uh, it is normally taking seven to 10 days to get an appraisal done in this current market that we're in. So just a little information for you in regards to appraisals. If you need any information you can use for any real estate needs, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. My name is Lori Roberts. I am a full-time real estate broker in Durham region, specifically Ajax. Thank you so much and have a great day.